When Elon Musk launched a roadster into space, it was genuinely impressive. However, what we may not have considered is what is going to happen to the roadster next. It's just gonna drift off into space and M bump into some of your bridge. See, there's the thing <laughs> is, we don't know. There are certain percentage chances that the Roadster could land on a planet. Mm -hmm. It could go into the Kuiper Belt, never to be seen again from us, likely. It's been calculated from SpaceX how far it will go or where it will land, but only within the window of the next 3.5 million years. Yikes. So beyond that, uh, some researchers from the University of Toronto have decided to calculate the orbit of where it could potentially land. And this is important because, as you might, may or may not know, um, when NASA launches things into space, let's say in particular uh, a rover on Mars, they make sure it is 100% completely sterilized. There can be nothing on it that came from Earth, uh, including bacteria. Extremophile bacteria can live through space and potentially live on climates such as Mars, and including um, anaerobic bacteria that produce methane. Methane is something, it's an interesting material because it can be produced from organic life or it could potentially not be produced from organic life. And to have that taint let's say, for example, Mars mm -hmm. would severely change our understanding of Mars and how life formed and how life stopped at that point. So it would, that, so NASA has to be extremely careful with this not to taint the, the biome that we're trying to study. But Elon Musk was like, eh, it'll be fine. Just throw it, in, <laughs> and throw it into the universe, it'll be okay. More or less. Why, why didn't they sterilize it? I that's, don't know. That's odd that they didn't like it's, give it a Google, like what things you should do before you put process things up there. to remove this. Yeah microscopic material that's okay. on it. And, but you said that probably won't hit, it won't hit another planet or it might hit another planet? It might, it certainly might. So the researchers actually con, uh, constructed this model of where the orbit is supposed to be. The roadster is, is the, the green, green line. Yeah. It's very close to Earth's orbit, which makes sense because it was launched from Earth. So this is an expected trajectory for a while. However, it doesn't account for the end of time, or <laughs> time as we see it, or as we observe it as yeah. uh, humans with really minuscule lifespans. It, it honestly looks like it's more likely to come back to Earth at some point. Actually, like there is back. a, <laughs> according to their uh, calculations, there's a 6% chance it will come back to oh, Earth. That's pretty good. There's a 2.5 chance it will land on Venus. Oops. Um, yeah, Venus is not hospitable to life, most likely, considering its surfaces, it's extremely dense, the atmosphere, uh, I would describe it as hostile to life. Mm -hmm. So it, maybe. The methane won't mess anything up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably. I, I don't know. I don't know everything about space and neither do, does NASA. And yeah. that's the wonderful thing about it is we're still learning. But what we're looking at, the researchers calculate that this, the lifespan of this roadster in space can be measured in tens of millions of years. Mm. So that's why they only, I mean, it's it's interesting to calculate further or, or to beyond, to numbers we might not be able to <laughs> comprehend just at the immediate level, which is over 3.5 million years let's say 20 million years or so. Mm. So at some point, it's going to hit something or it's gonna spin off past the Kuiper yeah, Belt. Or disintegrate or who knows. I feel like it's more <laughs> likely, don't you think it's more likely there'd be another PR stunt where they'd come, go get it back? That would be interesting. Or like go out and like bump it so it would come back into Earth as like a shooting star. <laughs> <laughs> bump it like in the Back to the Future, I, right? <laughs> I mean, I know a lot about science. I feel like that's, that's just, you just Go like that and it comes back, right? I mean, the yeah. vastness of space is really hard to account for <laughs> as far as all the variables out there as well. There's a lot of magnetic fields that yeah. you didn't think about, y'all. So it's not really clear where this is gonna end up, but it could come back to us. Uh -huh. Six percent chance of that. That's pretty good, actually. It's a very good chance. Yeah. Well, Considering stuff in space doesn't generally fly by for no reason. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's actually really high considering yeah. ev considering everything. Uh, audience, what do you think will happen to the Roadster eventually? What will be its final fate? Please let us know what you think below and like and subscribe for more.